Not only did I create a secret base in Geth, but we also built other bases that are more special than I am. Anyways, this is Death is Plenty, let's get right into it. In the first server, the hacker dummy gave me a shotgun so I can shoot a load in Geths. When the sun started leaving, I started boarding up the garage, hoping I finish in time before we're ambushed. Thankfully, I was done right before Geths brushed my butt hairs. Suddenly, a scary black cat appeared. I knew it was Hitchum, but damn, that thing needs to be set on fire. Bigfoot also came and tried having me stroke his chest hairs. Yeah, there was a lot of weirdos and I felt violated being near them. So I escaped the abominations and blew some Smiler's foreheads, where I found a collapsed house that became my first base. We only had half a day to seal the hole, but it wasn't enough and Munchers took advantage of the situation. Once they were dead, Giddy tried squeezing through a tiny hole, which killed rocks. Yeah, that night was horrible. I didn't want the house being destroyed, so I spent all day and night covering what was Exposed. With the size completed, we made sure to cover the back entrance. Wouldn't want Daddy Geff hitting it from the back. I doubt he would pay child support for the baby houses. Unfortunately, FNF died that night. Type F those cheeks in the comments to honor his sacrifice. What the fuck? Hitcher made a tiny litter box to, um, sleep in. Yeah, there was also a small tunnel that Kev and Sappo tag team on, which did nothing since Timmy escaped the closet and torn down my walls. Of course, he looks like a registered Geff offender. I guess the planks were too close to the walls. After doing a supply run, I noticed the others cooking something up. So when morning started, I climbed up the stairs to check it out. Whatever they were making, it would only get crazier later. For now, I would venture far away to make a mini base. This time, I made sure to make the space between the wall and planks bigger. By the way, I recorded this four months ago and this was my next step to becoming a better builder. After I was done, it was time to give the cabin a mohawk which should help protect the roof from Geffany by giving the planks height. But since the shed wasn't ready, I died that night. Then this girl named Bacon helped me complete the roof. Eventually I turned into a Geff and checked out how far the others gotten. It was so damn beautiful, especially at night when you can see the lantern shine bright. A different server needed my savings, so I picked a store and started building. There was too many gifts that night, so I hid under a shelf. Thankfully, Kev came to rescue me. Minutes went by and an employee from Ikea traveled to our dimension. So that's why barely anyone lives here. They're just working a lot. That night, we made a lot of progress until Gefzilla destroyed our shelter. While the others dealt with that, I came back to visit this other server. They were doing fantastic. Okay, what the hell is that? Meow. So I went back and declared this as a contest. Our church needed to expand its territory. The Fugglers didn't like that, invading our camp like syphilis that never seems to go away. Rox died again, so we made him a grave. If only he was still alive. Soon after, I forgot about him and fortified a neighboring store. Now that our church has expanded, I had to end my truce with Zack. His creepy Uncle Larry came to seek revenge, but was too fat to reach me. Remember this, lads. By the end of the video, I want you to tell me which base is the best. For now, let's go see what I created in other servers. This time I joined the server extra late, so I had to quickly make a hut to give me a chance of surviving the night. Which worked and that gave me an idea. Since huts are quick to make and effective against spiders, then what's stopping me from making a town of huts? Kinda like those camps where hippies moved around in. Once I added height to the tent, a tunnel-like entrance would help keep gifts from getting in. Since the walls were thin, I had to make it thick like queso. Splitting the entrance also helps stop flesh balls from squeezing through. Add some lanterns to see better at night and use a bat instead of a crowbar so I don't tear down the wood. I was ready but all the gifts were interested in this other base instead of me, just like my parents. I just want to be noticed. So I started building another hut. Others were noticing and decided to check it out. This time I wanted to make the base more like a pyramid. Giddy and his kids tried breaking down my tent. They failed and he left them behind. Next day I wanted to make one that was bigger, which took way too long and I died. <laughs> Once I was done modifying it, I tried making the next one look like a house. It looks good, okay? Anyways, our village was looking pretty good, so it was time to see how well it stays together. There was a lot of guests that night, and it seemed like there was no chance of surviving. But they were not able to destroy the village and were defeated. Since I was no longer needed, I left. Before we get to the secret base, someone said to build a potato. Okay. As I was building the tater, a random player ran up on me. Since most randos ruin my masterpieces, I ran away. 
Eventually, I went to the hospital's rooftop and barricaded the entrance. No one was going to lay their finger on my potato. The only potato I can think of was one of those small round red ones. Honestly, it started to look like a big geff took a shit, which made me wonder how their digestive system works. But I didn't have enough time to think. Once the geffs were dead, I tried giving it more thickness. Yeah, it didn't go well, so I stopped. What did go well was my secret base, which proved to be one of my greatest works. The first thing I had to do was build a tower over the hospital. Since it's at the edge of the map, I figured no one will notice since they'll have to look at the sky. I may have forgotten to make a shield to protect me from gaffs. Next day, I made the tower taller, but this time I made sure to build a mini base to protect me through the night. I like to call them checkpoints since it'll stop me from having to climb from the bottom. It was the right call since the sun started setting. They were no match for me. Now, it was time to extend the tower. The plan was to make a sky base over town, so I had to extend the tower. I got in pretty far and made another shed. Since I only had 50% of health, I knew I had to build faster. Everything was going great until suddenly the whole structure collapsed. This is why I hate it when buildings respawn, but that only motivated me to build another secret base, so I ditched it like how my parents left me in the closet. The hardest part was finding a spot where no one goes to. However, I did find the old factory and decided decided to use the trees to blend in. For the first part, I wanted to make a cube to shelter in, and then add another to its sides to expand it. So I made a doorway and sealed the rest of the box. Now I was able to make it longer. The only problem was how crooked it was. Luckily, I was able to finish it before guests came. They huffed and puffed, but couldn't blow down my house. After adding a lamp, I decided to add a second floor. This is where I wanted to store weapons and tools. Day 9, I added stairs and finished building the walls. Suddenly, Big Easy came and started messing with my base. He tried blocking the entrance. Thankfully, I had a crowbar. A Geff also killed him, which was karma, bitch. Noah was quite the opposite, though, since he was pretty helpful. Since my secret base was exposed, another player named Rare came and messed with my lantern. So I trapped him at the entrance. Never mess with my fucking lantern. After he left, I blocked the entrance and added a teepee on the top. What do you think it looks like? I think it's a boat. Anyways, later I made a hidden hole to enter in and a false entrance to make it seem like it's not accessible. After everything I'd done, the base was ready for an upgrade. So I left to get supplies, just for me to come back to nothing. Anyways, which base do you think was the best? Let me know in the comments. If you want to see all the other other crazy bases I made, click on the playlist. Until then, I hope you have a great time. Later, bitches.